Hello and welcome to Wadlow Collect. I'm Martin and today we are looking at the latest Magic the Gathering Phyrexia. So what we got today is and I feel very lucky that we have as you can see the bundle version and thanks to the great guys at HR Games we also have a pre-release box. So what I think I'm going to start with today is we get to move the bundle to the side and start on the pre-release. Now I've actually not opened a pre-release magic box before. I mean they're a lot bigger than what you get from Vice and basically I have a sort of idea of what you get in them but let's open it and find out. So to begin with, the fact that you open it up and you get what well, looks like high low graphics and then I want to try and keep this at best condition as I can. Okay. Okay, so you get um like got this symbol everywhere. Just have a zoom in on that. You get tokens there. And it sort of opens up like quite just a handy package. Okay, so just remove the tokens to one side. And then that reveals a I guess you could just use that as a just a simple deck box. Okay, and then so to begin with you get I think is a 19. Yep. So you got the 19 there, and like on previous um, sort of like bundle boxes as well, as we will see, you get. I guess it's like a land. Um, yeah, like a land type. Um, yeah. So we get like a land type symbol on there. So pretty cool dice. I mean, you can use them for other things like D and D. Um, so, we get a card divider, piece of cardboard, a pre-release, okay that sort of tells us what we get but I don't want to look at that, we get our packs, our first is the pre-release promo card, then one, two, three, four, five, six draft booster packs. And what it looks like it should be something else. Okay, oh. So there's just like a little random box that goes out. I'm guessing you need to put your dice back to actually. Oops. Okay, well that's just gone in, so. Okay, and basically that's your pre-release box there. So, we have a, let's see, let's put our six back there. And let's dive in and have a look at the pre-release promo card. So it's in quite just a paper um, paper pack, and okay, it's, okay. So we do have a Magic the Gathering Arena card, which I believe you can use online. So there you go. There's a code for those that want a pack or whatever these codes are for. There you go. And it's all whitening in the corner, but oh well. And okay. So the tablet of completion. And as you can see in the corner, they okay, sort of can. There's the 2023 stamp. And it is a rare card.
So, yeah, well, let's get this sleeved up. Keep all my pandy dandy uh, sleeves to the side. And yeah, so there you go. That's the Magic the Gathering pre release. Okay, so let's now dive into the packs. Once again, 15 packs, uh, cards per pack. By Wizards of the Coast. I believe these just came out last Friday. So I usually try to keep at least one good pack for collection and just to keep in box. And our first card is going to be. Okay. So what we're looking at here is, and what most magic cards are, are the sort of more fantasy type, like a bit different to the Kamigawa series, which is the other one I also have, as that is more cyberpunk type, these are more, I say, more, your, I don't know, like witcher type fantasy. But let me know if there's any certain cards um, you see that basically you uh, like. Are there, are there some which are playable? Okay, we've just... okay so we've got a, what I assume is a monster card. Because it's got the M in the corner. Our shiny is the Apostle of Invasion, which is a uncommon. We have a forest land and a drone, which is also um, one of well one of these cards. I'm not hundred percent sure what it is, but there you go. Okay, pack number two. Should be coming up to our foil shortly. Nope, but that's the rare. The Bane of Contracts. And we have our plain. Plains Land card. And a Phyrexian Might. Which is also a part, I think, a part of the Secret Lair set. So, no foil in that one, but we, but we got a rare. Which was that one. Okay, so we have starting off with Infectious Inquiry.
like this. Rolling chorus. Okay. So that's a bit different from what we've seen currently. As that's what mostly the ones that we're seeing. It's like a different sort of type of artwork to it, which is a creature card, I believe. But then it also could just be. So about that, my camera just sort of decided to stop the video. Anyway, continue. Drown in Shire. Shire. Okay, and that's our rare. The Sea Chrome Boost. And another but different one of these like different language land card and a rebel. So you got water, you got the sun here, maybe that's land, maybe ocean. So is there going to be a forest and swamp version of these? Which one does he want to be opened? Hopefully that's a good sign. Okay. I mean the other set I want to get and hopefully we'll bring a video in the future is the Brothers War. Which I believe is full of like robots and golems and like titan type uh, cards and they look absolutely awesome. So hopefully not too long that'll be the next, uh, next set to get. So that's our rare, the maze crusher. Oh and we have another foil. Which is a common, but it's also a creature. That's pretty cool. And another planes. And poison counter one. So at least we got two hollows out of this. And we are down to our last pack. Of the pre release, that one came the blue open. So, hopefully, we can get something really good in our last pack. Okay, so my camera decided to go a bit funny, so I just run through these cards, which for some reason, like I said, my camera just seemed to have a sort of mind of its own today. It seems like it just sort of, I don't know, but it's a sort of rundown. One to get as saying, there seems to be a, a couple of these skull bomb type ones, but I'm not really sure why they're so. Okay, so this one has a bit of a story spotlight to it. Okay, so then we have this sacrifice one, which once again is another story spotlight. And then we have land or another swamp, Fallout Swamp. And then our rare is a, a rot priest. Okay, so that was the pre-release box. 
Okay, so that was the Phyrexia pre-release box. I hope you have enjoyed these few packs and now we're going to jump into the bundle box. So just give me a moment and I'll be right back. Hello and now we are digging into the bundle box. This is the one that has more packs, it has alternative arts and let's just dig right into it. Normally this comes with like a really nice storage box. So I shouldn't be disappointed. Okay, so you get a really cool, let me just put that down there. So you get really nice artwork. It is out, it is really good. Oh. I think I prefer this side personally. Which side do you prefer? Okay, and here we go. So this is the box. You get the usual symbols and it seems like the both sides... Okay, so all sides are the same. And so let's lift this up. Okay, so I'm just going to take contents out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we've got eight set boosters. We have, okay, like how to cast spells, magic formats. And basically, that's how to play the game. And then this is our box promo, which is the Rat King. And I believe the rest. I'm not going to open it right now, but I believe the rest are land cards. So similar to the energies you get in Pokemon boxes. Um, but with land okay and we get our dice like earlier so we came with a bit of grass or something so 19 counter and with the land symbol it's really nice it's like a glossy crystal type with the red which I really like and then last of all is you get all the tokens and card dividers with some really nice artwork and yeah so that's basically your collection box so what we're going to do now is we're going to dig into the eight, eight set booster packs so the draft ones we did earlier, um, you get 15 cards in these, you get 12, so, but I think you get more rarer cards, maybe more shinier, so let's dive in. Okay, so that will pack one. Once again, I usually at least try to save one really nice pack. Okay, and with these you also get the art cards. So I believe there's usually... Okay, so there's 81 in this set. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can also get hollow versions of them. And you can also... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, got these land ones. Let me know once again from these from these set booters if there's any um, cards you think are good, playable, 
that'd be very uh, maybe you can let me know that'd be amazing for some reason to me like some of it we didn't see in the pre-release but some of these seem to be a lot nicer artwork on these I could just be wrong okay so there's our rare it's like a full art legendary creature which is actually, I love the artwork and colours on that. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's put that to the side. That's another rare. And one that we did see earlier, but here's the hollow version. The Skulled Well Weller. On our leather armour. So, personally to me, great start. I love that legendary creature card, that one. So, do those, I wonder if you guys can tell me, do those come also in a hollow? Because that'd be quite good to look out for as well in the future. Okay, that's our sort of futuristic cyborg-y type one. Art card. Okay, I'm either going with death or maybe poison on that one. On land. Maybe potential swamp. Digging roots. Definitely, okay, so once again, really nice artwork, love the sort of ink pen stroke on it, there's our rare, or one of the rares, and that's our hollow card, and the secret there. Poison counter. Okay, into pack number three. I'm honestly really enjoying this. I think these artworks are really nice. Okay, so there's our art card. Um, I did try to collect most of the Kamigawa ones because there's like so many of them they're quite hard to get and come by so I need to sort of get on that maybe get them in a frame or put them in another folder okay so no creature card our rare and our hollow should be got like a shattered glass type effect across around the sides another okay so put that to the side so we have four packs remaining after this one. Some of these don't even want to be open. There's our art card. Very cool. And there you go, we got our land like full art type card being hollow. I think these are really nice and hollow, them land ones. So yeah, this... Okay. Hmm. Is that 
Uh, nope, okay. Oh, there it is. So, pretty similar. Pretty similar thing. Okay, there's our, I'm guessing it's a Mystic. We've got the M, so I believe that's a Mystic. And there, oh, there you go. So we've got the foil version of the Rats one. And then... Once again, getting these skull bomb ones. I don't know if and how many there are. But are they actually quite useful? Bone picker skirt. Okay. So like that. I really like these black and white ones. So that's our rare. Our foil should be crawling chaos. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So you can also play it online. So if anyone wants to try it out, I gave away a pre release card earlier that had a code on it. So whoever's lucky enough to get that should get a free pack, I believe. Okay, so there's art card. It's like a mixture of future and past fantasy, this. Which I'm not super fan of, I guess. I mean, it's still pretty cool, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of it. Maze Crusher, that's our legendary creature rare. And our foil light belly rat. A magic mini game. So if anyone wants to play that, there you go. I'll just have to sort of pause it. Yeah. So give that a go. And we are down to our last two boosters. We've got another foil land to mountains. Okay, it's really nice. Really like that one, so I'll add that with the other one. Okay, oh, so that is our rare. And our foil is Swooping Outlook. And, okay, turns out we had another rare. Ok, 
Okay, so we are down to our last pack. So let's hope for something good. Okay, once again, really nice outfit. And our rare is the Black Sun Twilight. So we have an uncommon hollow. And basically just joined magic. Okay, so that was the collection box set booster packs. So I think my favorite, two favorite cards definitely was this one. Legendary Creature. And very similar to it. Because I think I really like the ink strokes. I really like what's actually on them so yeah so that was the collection box and pre-release I thank you for joining me and hopefully in the future I'm hoping to get some brotherhood or is it brothers war something like one or the other so hopefully in the future I will bring this to you and we'll unbox them together Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you in the future. Bye!